As a small business, we were very aware that we didn't have the people or the budget to, to do much in terms of marketing, but I felt that it was important that we were doing quite a lot of good work within the company and nobody really knew about it. So my idea was to invest some time in, in Twitter and use that as my, as my main marketing tool because I felt that it was something that I could run myself it was something I could run irrespective of my location. So if I wanted to do it at home in the evening, then that was, that was absolutely fine. Um, I liked the, the element of being able to change my mind quickly, being able to dip in and dip out. So the, the use of Twitter has really given me a huge amount of marketing capability without having to invest the time or, or effort that a traditional marketing route would, would tend to take you. I'm very aware of the differences between LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, with with our, our business company account, I'm very aware that it's the company that, that you're really portraying there. You're able to, to, to sort of hide behind the company name in the way. But with LinkedIn, it's very much a personal profile. However, I think most people that are on LinkedIn are using it for business purposes. So really, you have to be so careful what information you put on there because it is your CV in a, in a you know, readily available form. Um, because I think that potential uh, customers, competitors, business contacts would be looking at that because at the end of the day, even though you represent a company, they want to know the person behind that company. So I'm always very, very careful that I would only put information on there that I would be quite happy to share with anybody, irrespective of whether or not I had any type of um, you know, personal or business relationship with them. I'm Sarah Edwards, Managing Director, Capital Network Solutions.